Okay, so welcome to all for the course of mechanical system design. Now we are going to learn unit number two, that is statistical consolidation and design. So in previous video we have learned about this what is mean of statistics, what is mean of frequency, polygon, what is mean of mean, median, and more. Now we'll take one example that is rate height of how to calculate mean of the data. How to calculate variance and how to calculate standard deviation of the data. Let me consider the kids. So kids have always have some height. So let height of kids are 600 mm, 470 mm, 170 mm, 430 mm, and 300 mm. Now we have to calculate. So this data is available for with us. Data is height of kids. Now we have to calculate mean for this data, variance for this data, and standard deviation. Let height of some kid is one kid is 170. Height of kids are some kids are 300. Height of some kids are 430. Height of some kids are 470. Height of some kids are 600. So we calculate mean of the observation. So mu is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 x4 log k x10 upon capital N, that is summation of x i upon N. So mean is equal to 600 mm plus 470 plus 170, 430 plus 300. So total number of observations are 5. So mean value for this equal to 394. Now, so in this way we calculate mean of the observations. Now, we have to calculate variance for that. So we have to calculate variance for the data. Now how to calculate variance? So variance nothing but difference from the center value. Now mean value of the data is 394. So this 394 is the mean value. Now how each value is differ differs from the mean value? Let 170 mm one kid have height 170 mm now difference between 170 and mean value 394 is minus so 170 minus 394 comes minus 2 to 4 so take difference of that square so take square of that difference plus second height is 300 mm so second value is 300 mm so difference between 300 and 394 that is 300 minus 394 comes minus so second value is 300 mm so difference between 300 and 394 is minus 94 so we take bracket square minus 94 plus difference between third value is 430 so difference between the 430 and 394 is 36 so take 36 square plus next value is 470 470 minus 394 is 76 so take 76 square plus difference between 600 and 394 is 206 so take 206 square summation of all differences summation of square of all differences upon total number of observations so that is called as variance so variance is equal to 21704 now we calculate standard deviation so standard deviation in the but the square root of variance so it comes 147.32 that is equal to 147 so this is called as standard deviation so in this way we calculate the mean of the value variance and standard deviation so we define standard deviation is a measure of how each value in the data set deviates from the mean so it measure the how concentrate the data are around the mean so smaller standard deviation means more concentrate the data smaller standard deviation means more concentrate the data now in this way calculate mean that is mean is equal to summation of xi upon total number of observation variance equal to v is equal to that is value x1 minus mean value x1 minus new bracket square plus x2 minus new bracket square up to x and minus new bracket square upon total number of observations and standard deviation is a symbol it is equal to square root of 
difference between that value minus mean value bracket square that is x1 minus new bracket square plus x2 minus new bracket square up to xn minus new bracket square upon capital N total number of observation that is equal to under square root summation of xi minus new bracket square upon capital N. So in this way we calculate standard deviation. Standard deviation nothing but square root of variance. Now, if the observations occur at frequency x1, f1, f2, f3, so this is data, this is frequency. In that case, we calculate mean is equal to summation of fi xi upon capital N, total number of observations, or summation of frequency, nothing but capital N. If variance v is equal to, in that case, we calculate f1 into x1 minus new bracket square plus f2 into x2 minus new bracket square plus up to fn into xn minus new bracket square upon capital N. Now in that case, we calculate standard deviation equal to square root of f1 into x1 minus new bracket square up to fn into xn minus new bracket square upon capital N that is equal to under square root summation of fi into xi minus new bracket square upon capital N. So this is the formula for standard deviation if you consider frequency. Now, if you modify this formula, ultimately we get standard deviation is equal to under square root of summation of fi xi bracket square minus summation of fi xi bracket square upon capital N upon capital N. This is for population. If you consider sample for more accuracy, so standard deviation equal to under square root of summation of a phi xi bracket square minus summation of product of a phi xi bracket square upon n upon capital n minus 1. So this formula will always use while calculating standard deviation for the data. So thank you for listening video. So in next video, we will take one example of how to calculate mean, variance and standard deviation. Thank you for listening.